Restaurants and venues are seeking ways to be more sustainable and to let customers know that they care about the environment. This often includes reducing waste through recycling and composting. While recycling has been around for a while, composting is new to many. This video is for food service operators seeking to incorporate composting into their waste diversion efforts. For a waste diversion program to be successful, you must think about your materials and waste as a system. It's important to make things easy for your guests. Packaging and food. You're bound to have uneaten fries, nacho cheese, or other food scraps that should be composted. If you only use compostable packaging, your guests won't have to separate their food scraps from their plate or bowl. They can easily put it all into the compost bin. Bin stations. It is critical to offer bin stations with clear signs to capture food and compostable packaging in one bin, commonly recycled items such as cans and bottles in another, and miscellaneous waste in another bin. Minimize contamination. By planning ahead, you can send your composters and recyclers only what they want. To give a real-world example, we have partnered with Illegal Peaks to show how they are successfully composting at their restaurants. My name is Julie Tachi, and I'm Director of Community and Culture here at Illegal Pete's. Illegal Pete's is a restaurant company that was born in Boulder in 1995, and we're now headquartered in Denver, Colorado, with a variety of locations across Colorado and Arizona. We serve burritos, tacos, nachos, and have a full bar in each of our locations. Our aim is to satisfy our customers and really integrate ourselves into the community. A number of years ago, we took a look at what kind of packaging we had and what we could do to improve our impact on our communities and the larger environment. Eco Products is a really great partner for us because they help facilitate that program with us, serve really great products, and help us along the way to get to where we're trying to go. In order to create the most successful composting program for your restaurant, it's important to think upstream, which means thinking ahead to what products are coming into your restaurants. Here at Illegal Pete's, we've created a program such that all of our food containers are compostable, which takes the work off of consumers to have to sort at the end of their meal and also minimizes the chance of some sort of material getting into the compost bin that shouldn't be there. For example, if we had this non-compostable portion cup inserted into our product line, consumers likely wouldn't understand that these are compostable while this isn't, which would end up contaminating our compost bin. In your restaurant, it's important to create bin areas where everything is put together. Here we have a compost bin, a recycling bin, and a small trash can so that when the customer approaches the area to discard of their products, they know what their options are and what goes where. For us, we have bottles and cans go into the recycling bin, all of the food and food containers go into the composting bin, and then any outside trash is reserved for the trash bin. This helps eliminate confusion for your customer and then also eliminate contamination for your composter. So in addition to creating bin areas, it's really important to have very clear signage that not only communicates your commitment to sustainability, but also guides the customer to know where to put what. So here we have all of our food containers that we actually use in store featured here, and then all of our recyclable materials featured here. If you have a new customer, they can walk up and learn where they should put stuff. So here we are in the kitchen. Obviously in the kitchen, you're gonna have a lot of compostable materials, a lot of food waste. For us, we have a lot of avocados, tomatoes, other types of produce and animal product. So with composting, it's really important that you sort these materials. Food scraps go in the compostable bin, and then make sure things like stickers and other plastics and non-organic materials go into the landfill bin. We've designed our kitchen so the bins go right next to each other, so it's really easy when the cooks are cooking and breaking down food to sort them without having to move around. With the bin liners, make sure you use a BPI certified compostable can liner so that it's in line with the compostable materials that you're going to be discarding. Lots of items in our kitchens are commonly recyclable, like metal containers, plastic containers, and cardboard containers. Before placing them into the recycling bin, however, check with your recycler to make sure they accept those items and how clean they need to be. 
kids' kitchens have plastic film for bread bags, tortilla bags, produce bags like the one I have here. Most communities don't accept these in the recycling bins because they can clog up the facilities while they're processing. In most cases, just place it into the landfill bag. It is, however, possible to recycle these if you have them separate, clean, and dry. If you are interested in learning more about how to start this program at your facility, talk to your Eco Products rep. Other items prevalent in kitchens are small pieces of rubber, plastic, and metal. Items like gloves, rubber bands, hair ties, and twisty ties must go into the landfill bin. They're not acceptable in composting either, unfortunately, since they are not made of organic material and they won't break down and turn into soil. 